Hello and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over how I am currently trading Bitcoin as well as some very important support and resistance levels here on the charts. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. You're having a great holiday and yeah, now ready for some technical analysis here on Easter Monday. Uh, so yeah, we've seen it's Easter Monday, obviously. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday being a holiday period, we are accustomed to seeing very low volume over holiday periods. Again, this is because your institutional traders, uh, you know, are not trading in this period. So, uh, yeah, with low volume, what do you come to expect? You come to expect liquidity runs on major support and resistance levels. OK, so I was very aware that we were likely to, you know, come up and take 6,907, okay, being our double top, and then 6,600 being our double bottoms, okay, for those liquidity runs. What have we done? We have taken 6,907 and we've come down and taken 6,600. So, you know, that was the uh, thesis that we would try and get this. And then how has it played out? Okay, it's kind of like you have to imagine why do you get these runs on the holiday periods and it's because the the amount of capital required to move the market while the order books are very thin is very low okay a lot lower percentage than normally required okay and that is simply because you know your bigger traders are not participating actively in the markets so when the order books are thin it requires less money to push the price up and push price down so what we done we had a run on the 6907 double top which actually got some really nice follow through from that daily. That's about six, yeah, six percent rise in price. Okay, and uh, yeah, running those highs. Well, not so much of a, a liquidity run on this one. I wouldn't say it was more of a actually pretty nice push up. Okay, and then you obviously come down. You take down the six thousand six hundred double bottom, and yeah, you know you're at six thousand seven hundred. Um, so for me, that's like the liquidity runs out of the way. Uh, I want to go over some really big support and resistance levels and how I'm trading this, uh, which I'll do now. So we'll come down to the 15 minute chart. Uh, so for me, yeah, yeah, we obviously had this push up yesterday and it all started, uh, you know, pretty nicely. I must admit, we obviously had here our SR flip and then I'll move up to uh, the 618. OK, so that was simply let me try and slow it down to explain this. So we obviously had from our high to our low of the time. OK, because we obviously did not have this drop down. We come up to our 618, almost to the dollar. OK, almost to the dollar, that 618 before getting a little bit of a pullback. And uh, my thought process was yesterday, as we actually pushed up, I, I, I must admit, firstly, I have like not been trading hardly at all over this, uh, you know, the last few days. It's been very much one trade in the morning and leave it. OK, so I'm, I'm really not really trading again today. I will be trading again tomorrow, though. But today is another day off for me uh, primarily. OK, um, so what we can see here, we have this push up into the 618 level. And when we pushed into the 618, and my thought process was that if this is a bullish rise, we are not going to get, firstly, you're not going to get a strong pullback. And secondly, we're going to hover around, hopefully, you know, look for a 382 bounce before continuation to the upside. Because in the actual time, when we moved up to the 618, for me, this was like not an amazing short. OK, I did not short up here. So firstly, yeah, my short is from down lower. Did not short up here because the momentum was actually strong going into this level. OK, so the momentum being strong going into the level, I was hesitant on taking that short position. Obviously, in hindsight, yeah, it would have been a great one. <laughs> but yeah, in the in the actual time, for me, there was little reason to try and short this as that top. OK, uh, and for me, there was a few factors that while we were around at this level, uh, what I was taking into consideration. OK, firstly, uh, the 7163 being yearly open. So this is yearly open. OK, and basically I was writing last night just before I slept, really, you know, that while below the 7163, 7, then, yeah, I do favor short positions. OK, and with the same, <laughs> I did take a short position on Bitcoin. So I'm short currently from just over 7000. OK, and I'll exp uh, I'll explain why and what I'm doing with this one. So firstly, I've taken already 75 percent profits on this short. Um, so, yeah, I have taken that. So I'll explain first. I'll explain why I've taken profits. So really simply, we've done the swing value pattern on 6600 low. And for me, 6600 is a massive support level, absolutely massive support level. So, you know, in my opinion, you just got to be taking profits and, and pretty substantial profits. So I'm, oh yeah, I've locked in 75 percent on this uh, from the 7000 short. And this 7000 short for me was pretty nice thought process behind it so you obviously had this major sr level okay so you had this like major sr level okay of resistance 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 looking to flip into support and in my opinion um yeah if this was bullish we were not going to get such a heavy pullback onto this very obvious sr flip okay and then take off if it was bullish in my opinion we would have held support up better uh, and then got another move to the upside, not allowing many people to get in. Because upon this drop here, you've got what is known as like a very, uh, you know, a lot of people that were waiting to long would have longed at this point because it's kind of viewed as a like a resistance support flip, very bullish. 
and you know and many people would expect continuation to the upside but in my opinion because the pullback was so heavy that is why i was more comfortable entering shorts at 7000 okay because simply people are going to be looking like resistance, flipping into support, expecting continuation. Or I was looking at this as like a kind of somewhat like a bull bull trap uh, pullback, uh, which leads, you know, to greater downside. And obviously that tra traded nicely because we got more continuation to the downside. So that sh short traded nicely. Obviously, this is the thing. I didn't manage to short the exact top. And in hindsight, yeah, would have been a really nice short position, <laughs> you know, if I, if I had actually uh, had bids waiting. But, or even if I had taken it around the yearly open. But, um, you know, it's more, yeah, a little bit of a shame that I didn't. But I, I managed to get in what, $150 left, still made pretty decent money. So I can't complain too much. But, yeah, so I guess you still got this 7163 as a major resistance level. Um, you know, and while below it, one could still favor shorts. But now we have sli slightly changed the charts. So for me, there's still this daily level, 6,775, really big resistance, okay? But if this resistance is claimed, then I do expect further upside. So uh, the way that I'm going to trade this, I must, yeah, I must stress that literally I'm not going to be trading at all today. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be going out after I've made this video. So, um, yeah, I will be social distancing. Don't worry for me. But nevertheless, uh, I am expecting, so we could still definitely get some games going on over Easter Monday. The volume is very low, so I'm, I'm not going to be expecting too much from it. But uh, yeah, major resistance, 6,775. If you reclaim that, then clearly, you know, you got enough, you got much more space to push up again. Uh, so it's kind of like, from this level, I am b uh, cautiously bullish. Okay, so I'm cautiously bullish from here. Uh, you know, I'm going to happily remain in my short. I still have that short, by the way, from 7,444. <laughs> so that was an amazing short, which I'm still holding for a swing trade. But on a day trading perspective, yeah, I've got, you know, still 25% of my short open. And I will uh, hold this unless it claims 6,775. And then I will look to take a long, if I'm honest with you all. Uh, so you got that major support level uh, at 6,600. Okay, you lose 6,600. Yeah, I really think you're going to push 6,300 fairly swiftly. Uh, so that's like a 300 decrease in price if that comes. Okay, obviously being, oh, didn't try and load that up. Obviously being here, our, um, you know, our naked point of control coming in at around 6,290 uh, 6, more or less. So we have that naked point of control coming in here. Uh, you can see the speed of this drop has been fairly swift. So uh yeah, it's been pretty nice, I suppose. Um, and yeah, that leaves us now with, on a on an intraday perspective, we've taken all major liquidity at this point from the lows. Um, so one would expect a relief bounce. Okay, so I am kind of expecting a relief bounce, but because of the facts, you know, for personal reasons, I, I'm not going to be trading today. I, I'm going to trade it in a way that I'm ha more happy to sit in a short and then just get stopped in profits for the rest of my trades if we do push up. Okay, so is the way I'm going to approach this. And then tomorrow end of the holiday period I'll be back obviously for trading again i'll be back into stocks back in the <laughs> back in the bitcoin market so i'm looking forward to that and i'm going to take the rest of the day off so um yeah there's obviously opportunity here on this smaller term time frame i would just really stress that the importance of 6600 it's a really big support obviously if you lose that then it turns to a really big resistance but for the time being yeah massive massive support level so you know you can't really be too bearish at this level but uh, you know, I'm cautiously bullish because it's not really bullish until we reclaim a level. Um, so yeah, I suppose, yeah, that's my trade reviews, the why I got into that short. <laughs> a little bit annoyed I didn't get it at the top, but you know, that's just my, my ego because, you know, I can be happy with, you know, I suppose I can still be happy with this one. But yeah, nevertheless, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I will uh, end with saying, oh yeah, that's, yeah, if, I will end with saying that if you're interested in learning the theory behind uh, how I make these trades in like a lot, a lot, a lot of detail. So if you really want to learn the ins and outs of my trading, uh, then yeah, you can feel free to, you know, sign up at chartchampions.com uh, where on Wednesday, okay, so Wednesday being the 13th, 14th, the 15th, I'm going to be doing another Contenders live stream on our volume series, okay? Uh, so if you want to learn about that and all, all the past videos, okay, so you have access to hundreds <laughs> now of videos on the website. So you have loads and loads of educational content to, you know, get through. You have all access to all the old videos. And if you join the champions group, then you obviously have a little insights to how I'm trading, little hints like, you know, favoring shorts below that. And then what, like uh, half an hour later, then you get a 5% a, a decrease in price. So that's obviously pretty nice insight. Uh, so if you're interested in learning the insights, then yeah, chart champions you can come across to. Obviously wearing the merch today. <laughs> that's partly because my uh, hair is, is pretty poor uh, with the quarantine can't get to my hairdressers unfortunately uh, <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's today's technical analysis i hope that you've enjoyed i hope that you've 
Uh, you take on board these really big support and resistance levels and trade off of them effectively. If you don't know how to trade off of them effectively, then yeah, <laughs> you can come over across and see some insights to that. But um, yeah, hope that you enjoyed this one. Thank you, everybody, once again. Have a brilliant holiday period. And yeah, just enjoy it and happy trading. Cheers, everybody. Thanks and goodbye. Bye.